friends, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing a brand new set of Mizuno irons and a new Titleist Vokey Design wedge. My subscribers know I recently, as in last summer, got a full set of custom fitted PXG Generation 4 golf clubs. I got a great deal on them, it was a full set promotion, and don't worry, I will be continuing to use them. Today's video is actually about my boyfriend's new golf clubs. I am so excited for him and he has kindly agreed for me to share them on this channel with all of you, truly because I think these irons are very popular at the moment and I think they may be something you may want to look into. Here are the topics we're going to cover in today's video and as usual timestamps will be down below in the description. Firstly, we gotta go to Golf Town to pick up his new golf clubs and then I will show you a close-up and exact specifications of all the irons he got and the wedge. And then we'll talk about his fitting experience at Studio X. If you are around the Toronto area, Studio X may be a great option for you to get custom fitted golf clubs. Next, I will break down the total cost of all of his irons and the wedge for you guys, including the delivery time. And finally, I will share with you my thoughts on his new golf clubs. He plays golf left-handed, so I can't try try them, but I'm going to try the right-handed version of the same golf clubs at Golf Town and let you guys know what I think. Quick disclaimer, no part of this video is sponsored. He paid out of pocket. I'm not here trying to convince you to buy anything. I'm just sharing our experience. All right, with that out of the way, let's head over to Golf Town. goods there's the address for the golf town that we went to for the fitting and also where the clubs got shipped to and then these are the things that got changed so the lie angle here one degree flat and then let's open this Ooh, exciting so we got seven golf clubs there's four there's three underneath and then here is the wedge let's take a closer look though He's more excited, but I'm also excited. All right, first, let's take a look at this beautiful matte black wedge. Look at that. So the shaft on this is the true Temper Dynamic Gold. You guys can see that here. And then he did get an upgrade on these grips to match the free upgrade that you can do on Mizuno irons. So that's something to take note of if you do buy Mizuno irons. Um, you can upgrade to a premium Golf Pride grip like this one without extra cost. But this one was an extra $20 on the wedge. All right, now let's look at the irons. Oh, he also got a sleeve of, babe, you got a sleeve of golf balls in here. No, they're the, oh yeah, Mizuno RV Tour golf balls. It's a little side gift. Pulled out an eight iron. The wrapper is still on it, nice and fresh. Shaft, he got fitted for the pretty stiff shaft. These are the 95 S300 Dynamic Gold. And then, again, the Golf Pride. This swirly pattern. This is a really nice grip, I have to say. It's definitely a plus of getting Mizuno irons if you are interested in upgrading your grip to a nice Golf Pride with a wraparound. 
Studio X is a custom golf fitting facility located inside Golf Town. However, it is completely separate from the simulators you see in a normal Golf Town. Rather than picking out golf clubs and then trying them yourself, Studio X has experts that can look at your golf swing, analyze your golf shot statistics, and suggest golf clubs to you that are within your budget. There are three locations around Toronto. These are the three locations according to their website. And here are the prices for different fittings. So you can get a full bag or just irons or just hybrids. So it depends on what you want. The fitter was extremely professional, very experienced. He used to be a golf coach, I believe. So he actually gave my boyfriend some tips along the way so that he was hitting the shots more consistently and hitting the center of the club face more. So that was extremely helpful. The fitting was one hour long and we did actually go a little over time, which is why he also got to try a wedge and ended up purchasing the Titleist Voki design. Now let's talk about cost. He got a set of irons. A set of irons is generally seven golf clubs and that's what you get with the label price. Now obviously you can get a set of irons that has more than seven golf clubs and you just have to pay the extra. For men, a set of irons generally start with a three or four iron and continue to a pitching wedge. Full honesty, a lot of people can't hit anything higher than a five iron well, myself included, that's why I have a hybrid. And I also recommend to a lot of amateurs out there, if you're not comfortable hitting anything higher than a five or six iron, don't. Get a hybrid, get a seven wood, get something that will make it easier for you to shoot lower on the golf course because that's what matters more than showing off to your friends. So anyways, my boyfriend actually ended up getting a five iron two gap wedge, which is still seven golf clubs. And here are the costs. Set of Mizuno JPX 923 hot metal irons, which is seven golf clubs and a total of 1,295 Canadian dollars before tax. And that comes out to $1,463.35 after tax. And that is approximately 185 Canadian dollars per golf club. Now let's talk about the wedge. So the Titleist SM9 Voki Design Wedge is 259 Canadian dollars before tax and that comes out to $292.66 Canadian dollars after tax. Tax is so stupid. We should just include it in the price we see like the rest of the world. The order was placed on February 18th and it took almost exactly six weeks to get them. We got the email that they came to Golf Town on March 31st. Now online, a lot of people are saying they got their Mizuno golf clubs within three to four weeks. Uh, I think four week is probably the average across the board, but the fitter did tell us up to eight weeks. I'm just happy it came in time for our trip. So for us, the duration wait time was six weeks. Let me know in the comments if you recently bought Mizuno irons and what your experience was. What, how long was your wait time? Anything you want us to know, let's help each other out. All right, here are my final thoughts. Let's start with the wedge and then move on to the irons. I mean, look at this golf club. It is so cool, it's hauntingly beautiful. And above all, I am just so happy that he finally has a proper sand wedge. This man has been living his life without a proper sand wedge. The highest lofted club he had was a 52 degree. I recommend everyone to have a 56 or a 58 degree wedge in your golf bag. Let's talk about the irons, the Mizuno JPX 923 hot metal irons. I have that memorized now from filming this. I have a few things to say. Firstly, these golf clubs I find to be pretty easy to hit and I think they're great for mid to high handicappers and they're a great price value for someone who is fairly new to golf. So I would say my boyfriend is about a mid handicap. He shoots in the low 90, 95 area and at the moment I think he's going to get a lot better as we play more golf and also the golf clubs he currently had are secondhand and very old, so immediately at the fitting, he gained 10 to 15 yards just by hitting new golf clubs. So this is something that if you're watching this video and your golf clubs are from like the 90s or before, consider going to try new golf clubs. You will gain yardage without doing anything else. Now in my gain 15 yards video, I did put that last because I think everyone should work on their technique, their physical health and all of that before just jumping into new golf clubs. But if your golf clubs are really old, getting new golf clubs will immediately increase your distance by a whole golf club. 
Secondly, I recommend anyone who wants to play more golf, get fitted for golf clubs. We can read a lot on Google, on Reddit about what's popular at the moment, but there's so much more to a golf club and how it works for you than the brand and the model. Here's why. First off, a club head might look good on a screen or someone else might recommend it to you, but when you get over the golf club and when you see it and when you feel it in person, it may not work for you. So this is something that you really just have to test it out in person for yourself. And secondly, your golf club shaft is so important and people who just order golf clubs online tend to overlook this. There's more to shaft than just stiffness. Don't take this out of context. I am not an expert, but the fitter will have multiple different shaft options for you to try out. And the third thing that I think is really important is the little adjustments that they can do at fitting. A common one is, for example, the lie angle. I had the lie angle changed on my irons. My boyfriend had the lie angle changed slightly on his irons. And this is something that you just wouldn't be able to do if you just ordered online or just bought it off the shelf or off someone else. Changing the lie angle has helped me hit the center of the club face way more consistently. Overall, I really believe these golf clubs are a great fit for him. They're a great value for what you get and they're pretty forgiving without the chunky appearance. There are a lot of ugly golf clubs out there that are really easy to hit but the appearance and the feel is so important in golf. For me personally, if I look down at a golf club and I don't like what it looks like, I won't buy it, I won't hit it. Here's the truth, because people need to hear this. Do not overlook Japanese golf clubs. Asian brands are not as common in North America, but Japanese golf clubs are so popular in Asia, and I just have to tell you, it's for good reason. They deliver on quality, appearance, craftsmanship, value. Do not overlook Japanese golf clubs. That's my opinion. <laughs> and that is all for today's video. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I am headed off to another country to play some more golf. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I got a lot of new travel vlogs and golf course vlogs coming up for you guys all summer long. I am so excited. Make sure to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Make sure to comment down below your experience. If you have Mizuno irons, if you have the Titleist Vokey wedge, let me know what you think and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!